Hey Kids Life, I hope you guys are having a great week. So today we are going to be talking about love. We've been talking about what it means to clothe ourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now this isn't real clothes that we put on every day, but it's something that we wear to show people that we are Christians. So we've been studying the book of Colossians chapter 3 to learn what we need to dress up in in order to clothe ourselves in Jesus. So far, we've learned that we need to dress up in kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Today, we're going to be learning about love. That's the last thing that Paul says we need to clothe ourselves in. Colossians 3.14 says, Love is what binds us all together in perfect harmony. So in order to understand this verse, we have to understand what the word harmony means. We see these different people coming together who are all singing something that's different. It's the same for us. We're all different, and we're able to come together to do something beautiful. Some of us are tall. Some of us are short. Some of us are good at math. Some of us are good at basketball. We may be different, but when we work together in love, we can create perfect harmony. I don't mean that we're going to come together and sing, but I mean when we come together and we dress up in love, we can accomplish great things for God. And it's going to be like music to his ears. See, it's really important that we dress up in love because if we love God, then we're going to love others. So you can't say that you love God, but not love other people. 1 John 4.20 says, If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. Wow. So that means that we can't say we love God and not dress up in love. We could say all day that we love Jesus, but Jesus is the one who calls us a liar if we don't dress up in love. So why is that important? Why should we be dressing up in love? It's because our love shows the world we belong to Jesus. See, love is the key ingredient for Christians. It's what shows the world that we belong to him. It's what makes us stand out. Think of it this way. So I brought with me a pack of chocolate chip cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies. What is the key ingredient in a chocolate chip cookie? What is it that makes it different from the rest of cookies? It's the chocolate chips. If there wasn't chocolate chips, it would still be a cookie, but it wouldn't be a chocolate chip cookie. Or let's look at it this way. Today I brought with me one of my favorite drinks. It's cinnamon tea. What is it that makes cinnamon tea different from other teas? What is the key ingredient in cinnamon tea? It's cinnamon. If there wasn't any cinnamon, it would still be tea, but it couldn't be cinnamon tea. It's the same for our lives. If, if we want the world to be able to look at us and know that we're Christians, we have to have the key ingredient, love. Jesus said that dressing up in love is the key ingredient for others to know that we are his disciples. It doesn't matter what anyone else does to us. It doesn't matter how much somebody hurts us. It doesn't matter how much somebody hates us. We have to clothe ourselves in love. Jesus did just this. People made up lies about him. People beat him, spit on him, and nailed him to a cross. But he still showed them love. And we need to do the same thing. We must dress up in love every single day. Our Bible verse today is Colossians 3.14. It says this. It says, love is what binds us all together in perfect harmony. I'm going to say it one more time. Colossians 3.14. Love is what binds us all together in perfect harmony. So if anybody is able to send me a video saying that verse or say it to me the next time I see you in person, I will get you guys a prize. Let's pray, kids' life. Dear God, thank you for the love that you show us each and every day. I pray that we learn to love others the way that you love them so that we can show people that we're your disciples. We love you, Lord. 
In your name I pray. Amen. All right, Kids Life. So I'm super excited to see you guys again. This week, we're going to be doing a kids camp, and I would love to see all of you here. It's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's going to be in the evenings. Call the church to get some more information. We're going to have crafts, games, snacks, Bible stories. We're going to be outside. We're going to have the stage. It's going to be really fun. I want to see you guys here. Bye, Kids Life.